Oh, hello. Hi, how's it going? I'm Jeff from the New Day Workshop. <laughs> Today we're going to <laughs> not breathe out again. Oh, no, it's going now. All right, crap. Hey, it's a B-roll. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. New Janky Workshop. Hi. Stitching 102. Hi. All right. We actually have really good lighting here. No, it's actually really good. So we're here in the secondary shop. We have a leatherworking station. I don't even know where the camera is. It's right there, right? It, it, yeah, got, right. Where do I look? Um, here. That's where it is. Right there. Right there. Got it? Okay. So we recorded. I recorded. Let's talk about the point. <laughs> Three, two, and no, wait. One. No, I have to count to ten. Ten. No. Um, so welcome to the new janky workshop. <laughs> We are in the secondary shop. We're in the storage room here, mm -hmm. and we've set up a leatherworking bench here. And what we're going to do today is a follow up to our video that we did last week, two weeks ago. Who knows? By the time this gets released, it might be months later. It might see. be decades in the future. Who knows? It could be. No. We're going to do some stitching. Stitch. We're going to actually show the stitching process here. So without further ado. Yeah, so this is Leatherworking 101. 102. Volume 102. It's Leather... Yeah, 102. Or 201. 201. Depending on... Six and one half dozen the other, and Baker's dozen. Yeah. Yeah. Later. Then... Are we recording? Yes, it's recording. Oh. All right, so let's just make the assumption right now that we've glued these two pieces of leather together and we want to make them nice and stitchy okay so i'm gonna square this off real quick just to make it nice okay so what we're gonna stitch is that and that we just cut that off, right? So we're gonna stitch here to here. We're gonna use these dividers. And you hold one side at the edge to guide you. Yeah, but I mean, that's evident from the footage. We're, we're, we're teaching a course here. I don't need to narrate. I mean, come on, it's, look, it's fairly simple. This is supposed to go. <clears throat> So, now we've got our spots there in terms of spacing. That's what these that's where these guys come into handy. These are our stitching chisels. I I personally like to start in the corner, especially if there's going to be a corner stitch. Right? Like that. And that way, if you do the corner like that, then you can quickly come around like that. Setting the first pin in the hole from the other stitch. Correct. To line it up See? properly. And then the last one goes in there, and it just lines up with that like that. I think you just had a stroke. Okay, so we're gonna go, oh, thread oh. sizing. Let's just say I gotta stitch from here to here and then to here, that's my distance. So I go like this, I go measure that out to there, come down to there, and that's one. So let's say one is, now I overestimate four inches, so that's one, two, three, four, and I cut there. Now, that way, I always have enough. There's always enough to do if you do four with a little exaggeration. Now, getting the thread onto the needle, this is an interesting process. So, we're gonna go. We're gonna look through your glasses. Awesome. And we're gonna go. We're just looking at your hair. In through the needle like that, okay? And then we're gonna come out to about there. And we're gonna go like a so. You push through the, the middle needle. thread. Boom. Pull that tight. Then this side, 
Same thing with this needle. So we go right in there like a so. Out, about like that. Right in through. Boom. And now we have that. All right, so stitching without a pony, sans pony. We've done this video before, but we're gonna do it a little bit more specific now. So we let's say we've got a stitch that needs to go from here to here, all right? I want the bulky end, the finished end to be here, so I'm gonna start up here. So I got two needles, I got one thread, start here and here. I put those two needles right in those first two holes, pull those through, and like what are these that. needles called? Do you uh, have a special type of needle, not just a harness. regular? These are harness needles. Harness they're not, needles. They're not special. They're harness needles. Right. But uh, what you get with the kits are a thicker Different, yeah. gauge they're crappier. needle, right. and it takes a lot of force to push them through. So then I grab this. You can see this. I'm going to take the front thread like this. I'm going to take that front thread, and I'm going to cinch it down with my other finger so that I can get this one. I take the back thread, I put it right through that hole where the front thread is. I pull it tight, I keep this one tight like that. I bring it back down in the front like that. And now I'm at the same spot that I was before. I repeat that process. I take the front one, I apply tension to my front finger, put the needle through that hole, out, and back, I'm keeping tension on that one the whole time. Pull that one nice and tight. Switch them up, front needle or front thread becomes the rest thread, uh, the held thread. And then you keep switching up. Take that front needle, or excuse me, the back needle, move it through. Pull tight, keep it tension, hold it. Take the back needle through that front hole, through the front again. Now that becomes your back needle. Hold that tight. Boom. Boom. And now as I'm getting to the last stitching, so I'm going to keep that process going through. Now that's my last place where I can go through, but I'm going to keep going as if I'm going to start a new one, but then I come back and go this way instead. Come back, up a, back hole. up a hole, and now that becomes my front needle, which gets held. My back needle goes in. It just is a reverse through the same hole. Through the same hole. Comes out. Goes in, just like we're doing before. We're just doing it in the reverse order. That becomes the back needle held. Here's my front needle. That goes in, just like before, up, and through, and that is where we end that. So we've come back three stitches, okay? So now what we do is we are a siphony with this, and so we'll cut like that mm -hmm. and grab a lighter. Give those a little melt, just like that. And we're done. And then I like to give them a little... I like that, it like opens up the fibers. Right? It flattens everything out. Nice. Voila. Voila. Oh, 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 oh. The stitchy stitchy. That is your basic saddle, saddle, saddle stitch. Yep. Quick and easy. All right.